Nystagmus, Wikipedia article audio. Nystagmus is a condition of involuntary eye movement, acquired in infancy or later in life, that may result in reduced or limited vision. Due to the involuntary movement of the eye, it has been called dancing eyes. Causes Early onset nystagmus Acquired nystagmus Other causes Alcohol Diagnosis Pathologic nystagmus Variations Physiological nystagmus Variations 2 Treatment Epidemiology Notes In a normal condition, while the head rotates about any axis, distant visual images are sustained by rotating eyes in the opposite direction on the respective axis. The semicircular canals in the vestibule sense angular acceleration. These send signals to the nuclei for eye movement in the brain. From here, a signal is relayed to the extraocular muscles to allow one's gaze to fixate on one object as the head moves. Nystagmus also occurs when the semicircular canals are being stimulated while the head is not in motion. The direction of ocular movement is related to the semicircular canal that is being stimulated. There are two key forms of nystagmus, pathological and physiological with variations within each type. Nystagmus may be caused by congenital disorders, acquired or central nervous system disorders, toxicity, pharmaceutical drugs, alcohol, or rotational movement. Previously considered untreatable, in recent years several pharmaceutical drugs have been identified for treatment of nystagmus. Nystagmus is also occasionally associated with vertigo. The cause for pathological nystagmus may be congenital, idiopathic, or secondary to a pre-existing neurological disorder. It also may be induced temporarily by disorientation or by certain drugs. Early onset nystagmus occurs more frequently than acquired nystagmus. It can be insular or accompany other disorders. Early onset nystagmus itself is usually mild and non-progressive. The affected persons are not normally aware of their spontaneous eye movements, but vision can be impaired depending on the severity of the movements. Types of early onset nystagmus include the following. X-linked infantile nystagmus is associated with mutations of the gene FRMD7, which is located on the X chromosome. Infantile nystagmus is also associated with two X-linked eye diseases known as complete congenital stationary night blindness and incomplete CSNB, which are caused by mutations of one of two genes located on the X chromosome. In CSNB, Mutations are found in NICs. CSNB2 involves mutations of CACNA1F, a voltage-gated calcium channel that, when mutated, does not conduct ions. It may be acquired from. In the United States, testing for horizontal gaze nystagmus is one of a battery of field sobriety tests used by police officers to determine whether a suspect is driving under the influence of alcohol. The test involves observation of the suspect's pupil as it follows a moving object, noting. The horizontal gaze nystagmus test has been highly criticized and major errors in the testing methodology and analysis found. However, the validity of the horizontal gaze nystagmus test for use as a field sobriety test for persons with a blood alcohol level between 0.040.08 is supported by peer-reviewed studies and has been found to be a more accurate indication of blood alcohol content than other standard field sobriety tests. Nystagmus is very noticeable but rarely recognized. 
Nystagmus can be clinically investigated by using a number of non-invasive standard tests. The simplest one is the caloric reflex test, in which one ear canal is irrigated with warm or cold water or air. The temperature gradient provokes the stimulation of the horizontal semicircular canal and the consequent nystagmus. Nystagmus is often very commonly present with Chiari malformation. The resulting movement of the eyes may be recorded and quantified by special devices called electronystagmograph, a form of electroculography, or even less invasive devices called videonystagmograph, a form of videooculography by an audiologist. Special swinging chairs with electrical controls can be used to induce rotatory nystagmus. Over the past 40 years, Objective eye movement recording techniques have been applied to the study of nystagmus, and the results have led to a greater accuracy and understanding of the condition. Orthoptists may also use an optokinetic drum, or electroculography to assess a patient's eye movements. Nystagmus can be caused by subsequent foveation of moving objects, pathology, sustained rotation, or substance use. Nystagmus is not to be confused with other superficially similar appearing disorders of eye movements such as opsoclonus or ocular flutter that are composed purely of fast phase eye movements, while nystagmus is characterized by the combination of a smooth pursuit, which usually acts to take the eye off the point of regard, interspersed with the saccadic movement that serves to bring the eye back on target. Without the use of objective recording techniques, it may be very difficult to distinguish between these conditions. In medicine, the presence of nystagmus can be benign, or it can indicate an underlying visual or neurological problem. Pathological nystagmus is characterized by excessive drifts of stationary retinal images that degrades vision and may produce illusory motion of the seen world. Oscillopsia. When nystagmus occurs without fulfilling its normal function, it is pathologic. Pathological nystagmus is the result of damage to one or more components of the vestibular system, including the semicircular canals, otolith organs, and the vestibulo cerebellum. Pathological nystagmus generally causes a degree of vision impairment although the severity of such impairment varies widely. Also, many blind people have nystagmus, which is one reason that some wear dark glasses. Physiological nystagmus is a form of involuntary eye movement that is part of the vestibulo-ocular reflex, characterized by alternating smooth pursuit in one direction and saccadic movement in the other direction. The direction of nystagmus is defined by the direction of its quick phase. The oscillations may occur in the vertical, horizontal, or torsional planes, or in any combination. The resulting nystagmus is often named as a gross description of the movement, e.g. downbeat nystagmus, upbeat nystagmus, seesaw nystagmus, periodic alternating nystagmus. These descriptive names can be misleading however, as many were assigned historically, solely on the basis of subjective clinical examination, which is not sufficient to determine the eye's true trajectory. Congenital nystagmus has traditionally been viewed as non-treatable, but medications have been discovered in recent years that show promise in some patients. In 1980, Researchers discovered that a drug called baclofen could effectively stop periodic alternating nystagmus. Subsequently, gabapentin, an anticonvulsant, was found to cause improvement in about half the patients who received it to relieve symptoms of nystagmus. Other drugs found to be effective against nystagmus in some patients include memantine, levotiracetam, 3,4-diaminopyridine, 4-aminopyridine, and acetazolamide. 
several therapeutic approaches, such as contact lenses, drugs, surgery and low vision rehabilitation have also been proposed. For example, it has been proposed that many telescopic eyeglasses suppress nystagmus. Surgical treatment of congenital nystagmus is aimed at improving the abnormal head posture, simulating artificial divergence or weakening the horizontal recti muscles. Clinical trials of a surgery to treat nystagmus concluded in 2001. Tenotomy is now being performed regularly at numerous centers around the world. The surgery aims to reduce the eye shaking, which in turn tends to improve visual acuity. Acupuncture has conflicting evidence as to having beneficial effects on the symptoms of nystagmus. Benefits have been seen in treatments where acupuncture points of the neck were used specifically points on the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Benefits of acupuncture for treatment of nystagmus include a reduction in frequency and decreased slow phase velocities which led to an increase in foveation duration periods both during and after treatment. By the standards of evidence-based medicine, the quality of these studies can be considered poor and given high-quality studies showing that acupuncture has no effect beyond placebo, the results of these studies have to be considered clinically irrelevant until higher quality studies are produced. Physical or occupational therapy is also used to treat nystagmus. Treatment consists of learning compensatory strategies to take over for the impaired system. Nystagmus is a relatively common clinical condition, affecting one in several thousand people. A survey conducted in Oxfordshire, United Kingdom found that by the age of two, one in every 670 children had manifested nystagmus. Authors of another study in the United Kingdom estimated an incidence of 24 in 10,000 noting an apparently higher rate amongst white Europeans than in individuals of Asian origin. Infantile, albinism, aniridia, bilateral congenital cataract, bilateral optic nerve hypoplasia, idiopathic, labors congenital amaurosis, optic nerve or macular disease, persistent tunica vasculosa lentis, rod monochromatism, Visual Motor Syndrome of Functional Monophthalmus Diseases Some of the diseases that present nystagmus as a pathological sign, aniridia. Opticokinetic nystagmus, a nystagmus induced by looking at moving visual stimuli, such as moving horizontal or vertical lines, and slash or stripes. For example, if one fixates on a stripe of a rotating drum with alternating black and white, the gaze retreats to fixate on a new stripe as the drum moves. This is first a rotation with the same angular velocity, then returns in a saccade in the opposite direction. The process proceeds indefinitely. This is optokinetic nystagmus, and is a source for understanding the fixation reflex post-rotatory nystagmus, if one spins in a chair continuously and stops suddenly, the fast phase of nystagmus is in the opposite direction of rotation, known as the post-rotatory nystagmus, while slow phase is in the direction of rotation.